on us. Plattering cause. Excrement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In other words, he's on this duck shit. Cause I be in the hood like an engine block. Dude, that rhetoric you spit, I ain't hearing it. What's up, my people? This is show biz. No, don't. You know, there's an explanation for this. There's... <laughs> Woo! I am Iron Man. <laughs> All right, look. This is what I'm trying to say. Deontay Wilder is on his Tony Stark shit. Okay, let's let's talk about priorities here, and then let's talk about perception. We all know Deontay Wilder has uh, declined the offer, the $100 million offer by DAZN to fight Anthony Joshua twice. So it seems to me that Deontay Wilder's number one priority is that paper, is that money. And it seems to me that Anthony Joshua's number one priority is to be recognized globally as the best heavyweight in the game. Anthony Joshua came over here during that uh, uh, Canelo fight on the zone against Fielding, and Anthony Joshua called out Deontay Wilder right then in front of everybody on America's soil. And then he goes on ESPN and he does the same thing. He is on this mission to take over America. This guy is trying to be Captain America, man. He's trying to take over. After New York, he can be Captain America. He can be the heavyweight champ recognized in America as the man. And that seems to be his goal, to be globally recognized as the man in the heavyweight division. When listening to Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder says a lot of things like, look, I'm the man of the heavyweight di division. I'm the champ. Everybody got to go through me. So in his mind, okay, he is, now is show me the money. In his mind, he is leveraging what he did in that Tyson Fury fight. Because to keep it real, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are doing the same thing. Tyson Fury leveraged that fight and got his deal with top rank. And now Deontay Wilder is trying to maximize his popularity in the States right now. So his priority is money. And for you guys, my community, okay, sh the show business partners out there right now, I know my community. We are about boxing. We are about legacy. We are about the fight game, okay? So, like I said, I, I read the comments, and 98% of you in the comments just want to see a great fight. We just want to see the best fight the best. So we're not concerned about Deontay Wilder's money. I don't know how many, and let me ask you guys, how many of you out there right now is like, woo! Deontay Wilder, get that paper, baby. I'm entertained. Or are you mostly concerned with what happens in the ring? Now, I have nothing against Deontay Wilder being on his Tony Stark shit. I have nothing against that, okay? Because he got to feed his family. But $100 million can buy you a sandwich. If your goal is more money, Deontay Wilder, you get that when you're recognized as the baddest man on the planet. Ask Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson punch out, Mike Tyson commercials and cereal. And when you're the man, and I think that's what Anthony Joshua understands. He has conquered everywhere else. He's like, America is my last thing to conquer. Once he conquers America, dude, he becomes the baddest man on the planet. And he's thinking about the long game.
okay? Because money-wise, he said it himself on The Breakfast Club. I got people with their hands out. I am the one who takes care of my entire family. So he has to feed his family too. But he understands once he becomes the baddest man, he's going to get paid for the fights. That's for sure. But once he becomes the baddest man on the planet, then that guy, the long game, he gets paper from endorsements and a lot of other things outside of the fight. He becomes some kind of movie star, uh, action hero, whatever. Lord knows he got the looks for it. Pause. Bruh. Really, I understand boxers today being influenced by Floyd Mayweather. And, and I understand that. I mean, Floyd Mayweather, he did it. He did it. But this is the part that people are missing. This is the part that I think Deontay Wilder is missing. Floyd Mayweather put together a game plan. He was the B-side for that Oscar De La Hoya fight. See, Floyd knew, I'm going to take that fight, be the B-side, have the gloves that he want, the weight class that he wants at 154, all that stuff. Because once I beat him, then I'm the man. See, Tyson Fury wasn't your Oscar De La Hoya. Ortiz wasn't your Oscar De La Hoya. Anthony Joshua is. Once you beat Anthony Joshua, then you can talk about being the man and saying, look, I want this kind of money. I demand this, demand that. People see Floyd Mayweather now. They forget the road he took. Floyd Mayweather was thinking about that long game. People forget the fights against Gotti, Zab Judah, all those things to make him just become the man where he can just start leveraging his popularity. People forget that. Ortiz and Tyson Fury isn't enough for you to be acting like this. Perception becomes reality. And here's the perception. The perception is, I'm not saying this is true. I'm just saying here's the perception. The perception is, Anthony Joshua is looking for becoming the man in the States and his legacy. Deontay Wilder is looking for the bread. Showbiz the adult. Listen to Showbiz. I'm not boxing. Boxing. Oh. What's better? What's better?